Ah, okay, time to play some War Thunder. Oh, they've changed the battle ratings. Oh, F104 has gone to 10.0. That's pretty cool. Let's have a look at, look at Russia. Oh, the SU-7, that's gone to 10.0 as well. That needs to be done. G921 YS, oh nice, it stayed at 9.7. Really glad that hasn't gone to 10.0. Is there anything else that's been changed, I wonder? Ooh, what's this? So, the economic and the bat rating adjustments have happened today, and there's been some very interesting uh, changes to a couple of uh, the bat ratings in a certain aircraft. Uh, the F-104A and the C in American ones, as well as the, the, the Chinese one, has gone to 10.0. We were new about this. It needed to be done. Absolutely ridiculous that this thing was at 9.7. Uh, the G-91YS, which was said that was going to move to 10.0, it stayed at 9.7, which is absolutely fantastic because this jet would have been completely dead and not very good to play at all if it got moved up to a 10.0 battery rating. So really nice to see. Uh, the SU-7 as well has also been moved up to 10.0. Not so sure about that one because it doesn't have any air-to-air -air capability. And I think it was mostly okay at a 9.7 battery. But the most interesting change with the battery rating changes is this. The Lightning has been changed to a 9.7 battery rating why just why I, I i can't wrap my head around it the community was crying out that the f-104 desperately needed to go to 10.0 because it was a supersonic and overpowered and what did they do they moved the lightning down to 9.7 instead and make that completely overpowered it makes absolutely no sense no sense at all but anyway yeah, the Lightning's been moved down to a 9.7 bat rating. So basically, we've replaced one supersonic with a different supersonic, which is going to be ridiculously overpowered. Uh, that's going to make now the Lightning completely different to play, and it's going to be really nice, and hopefully we'll be able to shine at this uh, 9.7 bat rating. In terms of the gameplay compared to this in the F-104, it's got better missiles on it, but probably harder to use guns, and also the maneuverability is not gonna be as good uh, on this jet. But still, this at a 9.7 bat rating? What were you thinking, Gaijin? What are you thinking? I, 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 I just can't, I just can't wrap my head around it. I can't wrap my head around it. But anyway, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this out in the two, if I can find the right loadout for it, uh, into a top uh, 9.7 uh, battery rating game. We're going to talk a little bit about the battery ratings and uh, why uh, this has happened to the Lightning and why, why as well that the battery system so desperately needs to change because right now, with how it is, with uh, the battery ratings being so de uh, compressed, it's just does not work and they keep changing everything around and then basically all that happens is ultimately something becomes more overpowered when they move it down to this 9.7 bat rating or then become completely useless when they move it up to a 10.0 bat rating but anyway hopefully we'll find the game in a minute and we'll take this out in a couple of games i still can't believe that they moved this down to a 9.7 bat rating after all the outcry and the complaining about the F-104 being 9.7. And they move that up and then they, they move this down to 9.7. And technically, really, this is the better jet than the F-104. Has better missiles. Sort of better guns. Although I do like the 20mm Vulcan cannon. And the acceleration is better on this jet. Absolute madness. I know why they have moved this down to 9.7. It's because at 10.0, this jet really was underperforming, not doing very well at all. So because of that, with Gaijin's ultimate algorithm, the almighty algorithm which they love to adhere to, meant that this should have been a 9.7 battery rating, but 
Really? It baffles my mind. It really does baffle my mind. Here we go. Lots of enemy targets spotted, and I don't see a single supersonic aircraft at all. Let's push a supersonic. It's like a wolf hun hunting sheep. Find the easiest prey. Okay, these guys are coming back the other way now. Uh, we're gonna go vertical, I think. This guy is trying to get up to me. Are you... Are you actually serious? Oh, okay. I shouldn't have probably turned then. The lightning doesn't turn quite as quick as the, the F-104 does, which means I'm going to go but caught out by it. It's been a while since I played this jet. It's not about the gameplay today, though. It's more about talking about guidance decisions when it comes to battle ratings. Stick with me, Votor. Go, Red Top, go! There we go, nice. That's our first kill. Cannot believe this is a 9.7. And I say this every time that I do a video, a top tier. The batch ratings so desperately need to go to 11.0 for aircraft. They've done it with tanks now. A lot of them are now at 10.7, which is a really good change, but... They need to do it with aircraft as well, because it's so badly compressed when they move the battle ratings around ever so slightly for certain aircraft, they turn them from a very mediocre to an absolutely fantastic plane. This guy's coming right at me. We'll fire the red top off of this guy, who is not going to be able to dodge it, I don't think. Nope. There's our second kill. If they put the MiG-21s and the Phantoms and the Dragons at 11.0, this could have stayed at 10.0. 10 I think it would have been absolutely fine. I can see this being put back up, though. In all honesty. And it doesn't look that good for our team. Oh, I'm not going to be able to get him. Oh, his friend has got him. Well done. We're now down to the guns now. This guy's been dotted damage. We'll go vertical here. I'm going to swing over. The line does turn, like, really well when you throw it into a turn at, like, 800 kilometers an hour. Oh, right there. Come here, little hunter. Got the other one coming at me, but it doesn't look like he's going to be going for me. I'm not, going to be able to, I'm not going to be able to compete with him with a turn here, but it's fine. I can go vertical. He's not going to be able to escape from me. 2,000 years later. There we go. Crit him. But still not put him down. Why wouldn't you just die? Wow, what is going on with this aiming today? There we go. Finally. I will admit though, I will admit, the t booing me right now is a little bit happy. A little bit happy. To see so many lightnings and have this jet finally finally to have its moment look how many there is one two three there's four of us in this game never normally see that many 
And there was one on the enemy team, but they've already crashed. For now, it is the chance for the lightning to shine, but in a patch or two, when the batch ratings get cha changed around again, it'll be some other jet which has its chance to shine, and the lightning will forget forgotten about again. So, enjoy it while it lasts, because I don't see it lasting for very long. Absolute madness. Let's turn in. The brother's going to perform with me. You can only see the enemies over here. Wonder how many lightnings they're going to have. The thing as well is, unlike before, when there was a couple of supersonics, like the SU-7, uh, the different variants of the F-104, the only thing now I can think of which is even close to the lightning is the F-100. And that's not going to cut it against this. So the only thing really now which can compete with a lightning is another lightning. What were they thinking? Let's level off here. We've got the height over these guys. Gonna get the speed up now. We've got a Votor down here, but leaving for somebody else. Okay, these are all subsonic aircraft. I mean, we got we hold all the cards against these guys. I mean, literally all of them. Like what? What are they going to be able to do if we play properly in this thing? That's going to be a kill, I think. Yep. Ooh, that was, that was very close. I'm not going to be able to get the turn here in. Let's turn away. That is one thing the lightning is not as good at. Oh, we've got the enemy on him here. Is he going to break off? He's he's breaking off. Okay. That's one thing the lightning isn't quite as good as the F104 is. It is a quite a bus. Definitely a lot harder to play in terms of the movability. But I think the raw power on it. We just make up for it, and I really want to get the lightning removed here. I don't think I'll be able to get him, though. No. Okay. Swing over again. If you, if you play vertical in it, though, the turn at like 800 kilometers an hour is, is really nice. Oh, the lightning's dead. Okay, now we've got a free ride. Oh, I'm not going to be able to get a lock on. Ah. It's, it's definitely more tricky. It's definitely more tricky. I should have stayed on the hunter. Okay, the one of the MiG-17s is dead. Oh, they had a ruby tag. There can only be one true ruby. Right, if this guy goes into a turn, which he is. Go, red top, go. Oh, my God. Oof. I thought we had him then. I really did think we had him. Okay, there he's, he's gone. Just the hunter, it looks like. A little bit of a lag. Come on. <laughs> I know you can do it, lightning. Ooh, come on. Uh, oh, they've got him, okay. Mm. 
he's getting away from us here. He's not going to be able to get away from us eventually, though. Hmm. I like how it gets in the reduced speed warning. Oh, the guns on this are... Oh, come on. There we go. Oh, come on. <laughs> I hit him, but... The guns don't want to work. Come on. Oh. Oh, my God. What the fuck? I've got 12 rounds left. Oh, my God. With the last bit of my ammo. Ruble does make it hard. I really do make it hard for myself. This is what the difference is between the lightning and the F-100, though. Like, the, it is a hard jet to get the guns on. Still, though, gorgeous jet. Nice that it's finally going to have its time to shine. Anyway, what do you think about the Lightning F-6 going down to a 9.7 bat rating? Also, which is the more cantorous at a 9.7 bat rating, F-104 or the Lightning F-6? Let me know in the comments below. Personally, like I've been saying, absolutely ridiculous change. I don't know why they have done it. I really don't know why. But anyway, it has. The Lightning's going to have its chance to shine. So enjoy it while it lasts because it's probably not going to be at that 9.7 batch rating for very long. But anyway, please like, comment, share, all that good stuff, guys. And I'll catch you on the next one sometime soon. Bye!